Hello everybody and welcome to week 11 of the Discord Football League. This game is really going to determine how the rest of the field will go as if the Danish Lego men win tonight, they are guaranteed to head to the playoffs as they take on the cool kids clan red names. Everyone pretty much knows who's going to win this thing, but let's see how this one will be. We already already know them, to be honest. Ready, break! Ready! Black 35! 
Here we go, I'm literally just going to commentate like the last 30 seconds of the game. You see, you see him go for the run and Derek O'Sullivan gets an awesome touchdown for the team. This pretty much is guaranteed that the Danish Lego men have clinched playoffs. And I believe they are in fourth place in there, so I think they face the Femboys in the, I believe it's in the, in the quarterfinals. The 1v4. Setting up for a play. You see yo go for a long pass. Incomplete though. He dropped it. He's so bad. He's so terrible. And they got 10 seconds left. 23 to 12. Lego men securing their playoff chances. And they get sacked by Matt Duncan. So long, red names. They are the first DFL team in history. To have a winless season. And I completely understand. Just by looking at this team. They did not get a single win. This entire season. And they've made history with that. But congrats to the Danish Lego men. As they have now qualified for playoffs. Which means there is still one spot available. But that's if the Wakatakas can win tonight. Here we go, coming up next on the other side of the field, you got the Thunder Bay Economists who need, who need to get a victory here tonight if they want a chance to qualify for playoffs. While the Ball Lickers have already been eliminated though, they can ruin the Economists' chances. This is going to be a battle of the Christian Economy partners from Revolt, but let's see how this will turn out.
Ready, break! Ready! Black 35! Hut, hut! <laughs> Ready, break! Down! Set! Hut, hut! Very unfortunate that the Red Names had to lose their... Now to get a single win this season. But who cares about the Red Names right now? It's an absolute tie between the Ball Lickers and the Economists. Ball Lickers, they have nothing... They have nothing to lose here. And Economists have everything to lose, though. They lose here. They're not going to the playoffs. The throw in gets tackled. They call the timeout with 12 seconds left 47 yard line can they do it can the economists win their final regular season game and it's a missed throw and complete pass five seconds remaining before we head to halftime or before we head to overtime and for the run here and it seems like Jackson is running the ball here for 19, but this game will continue at overtime. No time remaining. They're going for the kick. And they get it. And they do the Economists win the game tonight. All that's really left for them at this point is if... What would it take? Actually, if the Darkies and the Nanachis lose their game later tonight that would be the only way that the economists qualify for playoffs big win for them here 24 to 21. here we go coming up next though lexington minutemen greenville growl two of the former dfl super bowl champions but tonight one of them actually no minutemen are already eliminated but the growl tonight they can win here and as long as the Wakatakas lose their game and the Wolves, there might be a possibility of Growl squeezing into the playoffs. But let's see how this will turn out. Oh my goodness, he goes for the kick. Got to be a touchback here. I'm only commentating on this one because I love Steve Swift. All my homies love Steve Swift. We have a Chuck Johnson. There's the ball here to Chris Boren. The, the egg hand. Not called football. Ready, break. Razor, razor. Hut, hut. There you go. Third pass to Steve Swift. He tried to juke that defender out, but unable to. Kind of testing the water to see what Growler capable of. In the beginning of this game. Here we go Chuck Johnson. Another pass to Chris Boren. For 10 yards down the field. Here we go. Here we go Johnson to Rod Washington. Rod Washington's going to run this thing out near the 5 yard line. Good enough to get close for a touchdown. At this point, they've got to go for an inside run or something. Anything that where they can't throw the ball and be risky. Or go short pass to Steve Swift, and he got clocked. My goodness. This season's pretty much done. Growl, on the other hand, they, they need to win this thing if they want to qualify 
to get to the playoffs right now. It doesn't look like things in there are in their favor because Chuck Johnson scored a touchdown. And Johnson went for a pass, but it was incomplete. And they failed the two-point conversion because of it. There we go for the kick once again. Well, it's only eight yards, though. Ready, break! Side run, the full back. Ready, break. Down. Set. Clyde Ellis, to Oliver Dorsey. Now Dorsey running things here, 15 yards, taking things nice and easy. They don't want to rush things. They don't want to try to hurry up and get some touchdowns. Kind of just want to test out their Ready, opponents tonight. See what made them Super Bowl champions to begin with. That's just the Marquise Copeland. Copeland, though, gets planted. And if Greenville Growls somehow make it to the playoffs after the night, they will be the first DFL team in history to win a Super Bowl and then head to the playoffs the season after. Great right, pass there to Jake Wheaton for 20 yards. Still six to zero, but Growl looking to tie this thing. We're gonna get back on track. Pass to Marquise Copeland gets planted. A seven yard run. Ready, break. Ready. Here we go, Ellis. Her pass here to Oliver Dorsey. He caught it though. This is not a deflected pass. It was perfectly good. 38 seconds left before halftime. For a pass to Wheeler. And get stopped by Glenn Tubbs. No short pass to Marquise Copeland. That guy tried to get him, but was not there in time. And Marquise Copeland gets the touchdown for Growl. Now they're setting up for a two-point conversion here. If they get it, they will get in the lead. For halftime, inside run was stopped, though, by Ryan Kelly. Maybe going for that two-pointer wasn't a, the best idea. Why well, you gotta try to sometimes keep things safe with the with the kick. Seconds left for halftime. The score still remains tied, but it seems like Chuck Johnson is trying to get a touchdown here before the time is over, but he couldn't get it done. Got 34 yards in. And we head to halftime here with the Growl and the Minutemen still pretty much tied. It's anybody's game right now. Back to square one for this third quarter. Except each team has gotten a touchdown. Good move there. Gets taken out. Ready, break. Fight one, two. Fight one, two. Hut, hut. We got Copeland running things here as he goes 20, 30, 40, 50 yards out on the field. Open and available for the touchdown. What a 71 yard run for the growl. And now they take the lead, but they're going to try that two pointer again that they were not able to do earlier. And this time they get it. Marquise Copeland, two points on the scoreboard for growl, which leaves them 14 to six. The Miniman can still tie this thing though, if they make it in. Ready, 
to the Judson. Across to Chris Bourne once again. They're not even trying to pass it to Steve Swift. He figured out his weaknesses. Mike Costley. One, two. Mike, one, two. Going for the run though. Now Chuck Johnson gone and out. 30 yards down the field for the first down. A minute and six left in the third quarter. And Johnson has to Juan Lee for first. Good job there. The minimum, even if they even if they win, it doesn't matter. They're already statistically eliminated from the playoffs. Good play here, and he runs it, and it's good by Lester Alexander. Well, actually. Yeah. Yeah, they won. Regardless, good play by Chris Boren, though. Say, maybe if Wakataka's Wolves and Growl lost. That's not happening. for the run for nine yards. For second and short though. Even it's left and third. This for the run, another tackle by Kenrick Harris from the Greenville Grout. Now the fourth quarter here. Score. It's tied 14 of 14. Brown lose here. Their season's done and they're over with. But it doesn't seem like they're saying goodbye just yet because Marquise Copeland with the first down right near the end zone. Perfectly set up for their next play. And they're going to go for it. Rojas here to Copeland. Fumble though by the ball and the Brown recovered it. Would have been disastrous if the Lexington Minutemen got the ball there. Would have been a huge mistake on the Grouse part. You gotta be careful here and a touchdown by Jake Wheaton. There was nothing for them to worry about there. For the kick. Right down the middle, and it's good. A minute and 16 left. Greenville Growl take the lead against the Minutemen. 21 of 14. Ready, and Growl, right. in this case, the only way for them to qualify is if the Wakatakas and the Wolves lose their matches later on tonight. And it could be a possibility, especially when they're taking on. One of the top leaders of the A conference. Well, the A group. Minute and 10. Chuck Johnson pass to nobody, apparently. He gets incomplete thanks to Adrian Spotto. We're going Johnson. Lester Alexander, though. Only nine yards. Down the field. Johnson, another pass to Rod Washington. Only 14, though. Johnson, a pass to Juan Lee, didn't get very far there. With 32 seconds left until the Lexington Minutemen have got to make something work here. 
Johnson pass incomplete. Deflected by Adrian Spado again. Ready, break. Down. Here we go. Johnson. For another pass. Unable though as it gets incomplete. Fourth down, 16, 16 seconds remaining. One of these two Minutemen are already going home after this play, but Rao could still probably stick around if they win this thing. In this case, it pretty much will. That will depend on the outcome of the other, of the Wakatakas and the Wolves game, as they both need to lose tonight for Rao to have the opportunity to qualify. And now that wraps up the end of the game. Greenville Growl with a win here against the Minutemen, 21-14. Here we go, coming up next, we've got two teams who are already eliminated from the playoffs, so they're kind of just playing for fun now. It's the Loaded Diapers with a 4-6 and six record against the Washington Asswipes with a 3-7 and seven record. This one is just kind of a, kind of just a, a fair game between the two, but let's see how this will be.
Ready, break! Razor, Razor! Set! Hut, hut!
This game is this game is pretty much done. Here we go. Can they do it? Long pass and wow, what a first down. Doesn't matter cuz at the end of the day the Washington Asswipes got the win here. I guess just in this this friendly spare fight against the Loaded Diapers 27 to 12. Here you go, coming up next, another two teams that literally already got eliminated from the playoffs, but yet they are still forced to compete tonight in their last season, regular season game, as the Louisiana Chicken Sandwich with a 1-9 record take on the Gary Pickle Faces with a 3-7 record. Let's see who will officially be the worst, the second worst DFL team in the A group.
Here we go. Oh my goodness. They go to this is the second game that they go to overtime. Why do we have so many games going to overtime for the ones nobody cares about? Here we go the chicken sandwich team go going for the kick. And they somehow get it in. The kick is good. So awesome. By John Muhammad. And that's how they win the game. Louisiana chicken sandwich no longer going to the playoffs this season but they get their last regular season win against the pickle faces 17 to 14. here we go coming up next we've got the netherlands stone the stofos who could still be knocked out of the playoffs as the detroit darkies need to win tonight if they want to qualify and as stofos they could risk being eliminated here we already know the economists won their game earlier but can the Stofos remain their spot at the top?
What kind of goofy ass game am I watching right now? The Netherlands Stone Stolfos are probably going to be eliminated from the playoffs right now if they lose. Oh my god. Economist already qualified. The Darkies have guaranteed their spot. If the Nanachis win as well, who knows at this point? We go McGrady. The long pass to McCaffrey, though. He couldn't save it in time for the team. 42-yard catch, though. But now this is all going to lead up to the Nanachis. Unless they lose in this game, then the Astolfos will still remain in playoff contention. But win, big win for the Darkies as they are back to the playoffs. 19-3. Here we go. Coming up next, this game will really determine who will be heading to the playoffs in the A group if the Wakatakas win this one they will secure playoffs and we will have our top four teams already confirmed but right now let's see if they can get through the Saints or if the Saints are going to ruin the Wakatakas opportunity and maybe give an opening for the other teams. Ready, fight! 
No way. Hello, Bobzilla. Your team is absolutely being destroyed. It looks like a tie right now. It really doesn't matter if you win or lose this game because you're yeah. still going to playoffs regardless. But if you could beat the Wakatakas for us, that would be awesome. Here we go. Great touchdown by Tim Farley. Here we go, 10 seconds left on the clock. It's pretty much guaranteed that Saints won this thing. But as for the Waka Talk, because there's still a chance they could be eliminated. I mean, Growl are already 7 and 4. Waka Takas are 7 and 4. Kind of just a fight for a spot in fourth place right now. We've got two seconds left then. But from how the standings go, it may seem like Waka Takas will still remain in the playoff contention. Long pass out here in the field. And that's going to be the end of the game.
Corey Cooper with the 41 yard run. But at the end of the day, the St. John Saints will pick up some momentum before they head to the playoffs next week. Score here was 18 to six. Here we go up next, we've got a team who are pretty much just already guaranteed for the playoffs as they have already gotten first place eight to two record in the Latvia Eagles, probably the favorites in the B group to head to the Super Bowl as they take on an already eliminated team in the Pickle Lake Regards record of two and eight. Let's see how this one will be.
Ready, 
Here we go, last play of the game. Pickle League Regards pretty much just took an L tonight, like they always do, but Latvia Eagles now make it to the playoffs, even though they were already in the playoffs to begin with. Big win for them here tonight as they prepare for next week. Score 29 to 16. Here we go, coming up next, we've got the awesome game as the Florida Femboys take on the Klondike Wolves. Wolves need to win this game if they want to even have a slithering chance of getting fourth place and head to the playoffs. But let's find out though, Wakataka's lost their game, Growl won theirs, but let's see how this one will be. This is so awesome, and it's raining, oh my goodness gracious. Had to play in Femboy Stadium. Okay, going for a run here, Rusty Emanuel. Wolves and Femboys, what a rivalry Ready, game. Fight. Even though they are not Fight, technically two. rivals. It would be more of the Wolves and the Growl. Here we go, Jason Young, quarterback. Passes it out to Rusty Emanuel again. Defense nowhere in sight, except they got him there. 39 yard catch. At this point, they should just let us win. They have already have played. They already have playoffs guaranteed. And if we get to fourth, we still play Femboys again. So, who, who's really the winner here? Ready, right. 
A good pass to Trent Holland. Takes him down. Jason Young out for pass to Trent Corrales. A 10 yard completion. Ready, Five, four, two. Five, four, two. For the fourth down, they get first, except no defense in sight. And they get a touchdown. John Magia, what a play there for 26 yards. Jason Young, the pass there, incomplete though, and they missed the two point conversion because of it. They kick out to the field. With Bill Solomon, Let's tackle the 19. See Isaiah Brooks just struggling to just barely get to that first down. They've got to pick up the pace though. The Wolves cannot afford to lose this game. They beat the Atlanta Bootyas last week. And right now, this could make or break their chances of being in the talks for playoffs. Pass to Tony Pratt. 41 yards out on the field makes things easier for them. Minute and 35 before halftime. We go Brooks. The pass. Oh, look at this tie. What the fuck was that? That was literally the worst pass I've ever seen in my entire life. Isaiah Brooks should be fired after tonight. He will not be a part of the team next season. Inside run, though, by Bill Solomon. And I will say, he... he is an amazing player on our team. Right now, it's just the people that he's teamed with right now are just making him look bad. Isaiah Brooks another pass to Bill Solomon, but there's just no defenders available to save him right now. No coverage at all from the offense. Which is why Wolves have been struggling here. Great defense, though, by the Femboys. Pass out to the field, and they get close to the end zone. 32 seconds left. I'm sure pass to Roger Gora, and what a bittersweet moment for Roger Gora to score a touchdown on his former, on his former Super Bowl, not his former Super Bowl team, but his former DFL team. But for the kick and completely misses, and because of that, they are tied here right now. Ben boys with six, they missed it earlier as well. Except they didn't go for a kick, they went for a two point conversion, they failed it, and the Wolves went for the kick and failed. And they will probably just try to waste and run the clock until halftime. Play here, great run by John Magia. Defense nowhere in sight. Trying to get him there, but he got close enough. 17 yards. Could have gone way worse, honestly. Good pass. Jason Young though running the ball here. He almost got sacked, and he gets a tackle though for first down, saving his team there for a split second from. But it doesn't matter because they head to halftime here. Wolves and Femboys both with six points on the scoreboard. And the Wolves will be taking the advantage into the second half. For Bill Solomon now running at the edge of the field here near the 30-yard line. Pass here. Dexter Cox. Now Dexter Cox running things here, but he gets first down. Got 
gotta be careful not to make any long pla long passes. Could risk an interception. Or a fumble. The Brooks. The Tony Pratt. We got clock. But he gets first down for the team, so it doesn't really matter. Growl won their game earlier and the Waka Takas losing tonight. And of course he gets sacked by Darian Fulton. What the hell are they doing? Here we go. Brooks. And they'll pass out to the field against Dexter Cox. For 31 yards. And the Wolves, it seems like they're just Trying to run the clock here. Trying to waste as much time as possible because maybe they feel like fanboys are going to score on them very quickly. Goes for the run there. Great move by Bell Solomon. Defender was available for the tackle though. 13 seconds left in the third quarter. Wolves in the second down. There go Isaiah Brooks. Going long here. Great catch, pass and catch. Dexter Cox and he gets the touchdown. This all leads up to the Femboys in the fourth quarter of this thing. And it's a missed kick, though. Stopped by Billy Ford. We're going for a good kick there. Touch back. Them boys and just like that I was gonna say literally right after they get the ball is when they're about to score a touchdown the Wolves have got to hold down on the defense right now if they want to win this thing them boys have nothing to lose in this case they could lose this game and they still go to playoffs but this is to humiliate the Wolves to end their season and here goes Trent Holland 55 yards down the field and that sets it up perfectly for the Wolves to potentially lose this thing. Ben boys, very popular favorites to win the Super Bowl and a touchdown by Nate Hudson. This is a disaster. An extra kick. Oh, he couldn't stop them there and that one point difference is all the femboys need to take the lead and all they need to do at this point is maybe just hold hold down the court right now. The run, Bill Solomon, 23 yards. Ready, fight! Brooks, pass to Derek Bowman. Brooks, the short pass to Bill Solomon. Nine yards and they call the timeout. Ready, A minute left into this game. Wolves, they need a touchdown if they want to win this thing and head to potentially go to the playoffs. 58 Ready, seconds fight. left. No timeouts at their disposal. It's now or never. It's nerf for nothing for Roger Gore, and he gets 12 yards down the field. Clock is running right now, though. 40 seconds remaining. Wolves, can they get a touchdown in time to win the game? Yo, Brooks, a pass here to Roger Gore. Did he get first down? He did. Wolves have a fighting chance right now, but they've got to be careful not to throw an interception. Because it could be all over for their season. Here we go Isaiah Brooks. Short pass though to Dexter Cox. Another failed attempt. Deflected by Don Boyd. And it's potentially going to be the last, one of the last plays of the game with 15 seconds remaining. They are at the near the 30-yard line. Brooks. Pass out here to Bill Solomon. 
First down though, 11 yards. Seven, sec seven for just two seconds left. The last play of the game. Wolves, 20, 15 yard line. Isaiah Brooks has got to throw it long here. He's running it. Can he do it for the team? Oh, he was close, but he didn't do it. And Wolves, their season is done. It's over with. Wolves lose tonight by one god dang field goal against the Femboys. And now the deciding factor of who heads to the playoffs between the Wakatakas and the Grau will be up for decision. Big win for the Femboys though. Here we go, coming up next, a game that literally nobody cares about because the worst, the worst possible outcome just happened. The Wolves lost. We're not going to playoffs, and I am very disappointed in this team. We're probably just going to give up for next season at this rate. It's been like three seasons in a row where this exact same situation has happened. But up next, we got Cataphracts and Barnacles. Uh, if Cataphracts win, they might go to playoffs. Good for them, I guess. I don't care, though. Group B is such a terrible group. Here you go, Mozilla. How would you like to commentate this game by yourself? Go ahead, do, do your thing. I like to see you I try. Love, I love football. I have never watched a single game of football in my life. Actually, no, it's a lie. I think I've watched like one game. In this one time. As you can see, they're trying, they're trying to get a touchdown because it's uh, the point of uh, tennis. <laughs> it's like the fifth time this week. Oh, no way, and they scored a, a touchdown. Oh, Growler going to the playoffs. That's pretty cool. At least I think they are. I mean, they're, only, they're the only ones that won this week and they beat. Yeah, they're going to the playoffs. That's crazy. Oh, no way. You changed your profile picture. Okay, I don't want to hear it. What the fuck happened? Dustin Coleman scored a touchdown. This is so incredible. Wolves have really 
Wolf, the Klondike Wolves have really give me, gave me a reason to live. After the third season, they disappoint me again. They are literally the, the, the Dallas Cowboys. But then again, the Dallas Cowboys, they always hype, they hype themselves up. Maybe we need to really rebrand this team. Maybe we need to get rid of the DFL altogether. There will be no more seasons until the Klondike Wolves win. That's just got how it's got to be. This is so sad. real.
Wait, hold on. I got something better. I don't need the, the sad Bart Simpson edit. Are you gonna make your, like, avatar your, like, regular, like, dude, like, emo or something? <laughs> oh, the... the... the, dude, the dog the, or whatever. The one anime guy or whatever. Uh, no, I wasn't I thinking know. about that, but now that you brought it up... I gotta find it real quick. <laughs> I am broken. I can't find the specific one, though. Oh, I found it. Oh, shit. I literally had to look up sad anime boy from the memes. Oh, on my Google. God. <laughs> Bro, my, my friend had that as a profile picture for a solid four months. Oh. Uh, well, he's a middle schooler, so that, that explains itself. Makes sense. Monster. And they changed it to, like, something completely different, which was funny. Okay, there we go. My god. <laughs> this is way better now. Is there sad of Homer or Homer Simpson edits? Oh my god. Oh my god, meanwhile they got didn't get the donuts. <laughs> what a touchdown. What an extra point. I, 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 feel, I feel so good for them. But they're not going to playoffs either. How am I supposed to be happy when the Bikini Bottom Barnacles aren't going to the playoffs? And the cat- wait, when did it get 22 to 22? What? <laughs> Look away for a split second. It's like, they're both tied. They're going to overtime. This- this is really a... Season finding match. True. What a, what the, one of the most the battle of mid right now the cataphracts they literally need to win this to to maybe head to the playoffs. Mm. As for Growl and Waka Takas, there will be a they will still need to review the 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 previous plays they've had in the past. But there's a chance that one of these two can squeeze the floor. Oh, I found a better press option. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow oh, no. and like look at my phone gallery. I'm gonna like not remember why there's a bunch of like sad boy edits in here. How did the regards and Speen's team have such a bad record this year? How did the how did Speen's team make the Super Bowl? That's what I'm asking. Yeah. They got destroyed by Growl. Yeah, wasn't it like Bowl, really? Oh my god. god. <laughs> Oh my god. That's hard to look at. Well, cry about it. Just like I did earlier. Okay, wait, what the fuck? Bikini Bottom Barnacles win! No this, way, they're going to the playoffs. Me up a little bit. Oh my god, they're going to the playoffs. This is so uh, No incredible. way, they won the Super Bowl already. They won the Super Bowl, wow. Aren't they like... Aren't they like in 10th place or something? Yep. Wow. Horrible team. Either way, big win for the the, the 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 piss the piss people of Barnacles or whatever their team name is. Uh, coming up next, uh, the, the Washington team, the, the, the Atlanta Bootiers or something, whatever their team name is. Three to seven record from the Washington. Remember when these guys were undefeated? Look, look what happened to them now. It's like three to seven. Atlanta Booty is five to five. Let's see who is the worst team out of the two. If I burn the tape, maybe we can go back and do the Wolves game again. <laughs> maybe I can rig it. Look at, look at the way he runs. Wow. How many times have you broken your TV in sort of like 30 guests this week? Trying hard. Middleton, more like mid. Ready, 
Oh, no way, they got a touchdown? That's crazy. This one will certainly affect the um, playoffs. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Lord have mercy. We were searching for that for a while. No, it's even worse. How'd you make that worse? Just like me for real. <laughs> that's, that's literally it. There's not a 10 hour version. <laughs> what a play by that. Jay Hester. Or something, I don't know his name. I am rocking. Why you put cheese thing. on my cheeseburger? Why you put cheese on my cheeseburger? <laughs> oh shit! Atlanta Bodius with the touchdown! Why are you so excited? Because I don't care about this game. You know what I did care about? The Wolves going to the playoffs. But look what happened. Gucci just had to fuck it up for us. He just had to make everything about him. If they didn't score that field goal earlier, this never would have happened. And now I have to live with the pain bearing and suffering of our past actions and mistakes. We have to guilt trip ourselves for the rest of our lives. Ready, break. Raise it, raise it. 
At least that's what I think. We will have to carry this burden of what if. What would have happened if that never happened? Anyways. Answer the survey. I'm not answering the stupid survey. What, what the fuck's happening? Jason Turner is just being a disappointment to the team in one second before halftime. Oh, I gotta do my halftime performance. Oh no. What a kick. <laughs> okay. Great play by Nate Jones. Now they, they're tied 14 to 14. <coughs> This is exactly how it was during our game. We were tied during halftime. Oh, oh no. Come on. Uh, I hope whoever gets their hopes up in this game gets their heart shattered and crushed. Just like us earlier. Okay, Mob, how the fuck are you gonna say that? You know what? You're out of here. Get get the fuck out of my server. Oh my god, he's going for the run. And he gets tackled. Disaster. Oh shit, I like fuck my elbow. I'm going for the pass out of the field and gets tackled. What happened there? Good play by Michael Lindsay. Ready, Yo, Joe Cotton, pass here to, to Dan Dickey. But what an awesome play! Ready, Wasn't very nice. Shh. You're gonna jinx it. Nah, not my son. The LGBTQ community. Are you watching Family Guy edits on TikTok? They've consumed my life. Sir. Okay, that's all I need them. Oh no way, fourth quarter. I'll always be taking pictures. Like the FNAF characters. What a touchdown or something. Why do you keep watching it? Oh, 
Why did CEO repost this? Repost what? 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 Why did he? Oh, he reposted a TikTok saying that he's never been perceived romantically. I I'm not surprised. I'm genuinely not surprised. Oh, I forgot when racing was chat was still a thing and CEO just now family guy clips are TikTok. destroying your brain. You know what else is destroying my brain? This pain and agony. You're gonna say it. Yeah, a loser. Yes, we are literally losers. Shut up, Gucci. You know what? I'm muting him. I'm fucking muting him. Shush. shush. I'm quiet for like several days or something. He's gone. He's out. I don't want to hear anything about it. You bring up the Wolves losing, you're getting timed out for a week. New world. I don't care about if people post cp or gore around here what if, if, if it's the if it's about wolf slander you're out of here buddy you're, you're gone you're not coming back you got that everybody got that clear awesome good play by alonzo maze i love how i'm supposed to be commentating this game but here i am preaching about how we lost like two games ago Good, good for this team, I guess. I, I don't know what their strategy is supposed to be going to into this. They are literally both eliminated. Why, why should I care? We got 37 seconds left. Like, at least the, the Ryko and Colt team actually has some purpose to it. Both of them could go to playoffs. But what, what's in this one? Get one win and then call it a day. You're both going and leaving anyways. It's like the most useless game. It's like the third place game at the World Cup. You are both losers. Why, why do they need a try? What, what the fuck happened there? Good first down by, by that guy. Wayne Middleton. I will draft him in our team next season. And we will destroy everyone in our path. And if not, then I will probably just not have a team anymore. It's been three straight seasons in a row that this exact situation has happened. Coincidence? I think not. Go, so Jason Turner. Wow, he, he fumbled the ball. You know who else fumbled the ball? Still going. Isaiah Brooks tonight. What? What a final though. What was the score? Or Atlanta Budius win. Wow, they're, they're going to Please the playoffs. Safely. They're going to the playoffs. No, I hope they crash and die and they pick up all that trash that they left on the field. Like, what, what no the way, we're back this? to a game that has some sort of importance. Hmm. Here we go, coming up next. It's the, the Nanachis. It's the, the Hackers. Six and four, five and five. One of these teams, they might go to the playoffs. I don't know. Cataphracts, they have the same record as the Hackers. They lost, though. Economist, I hope both earlier. of them don't go to the playoffs. So, yeah, it could be, yeah, it could happen, though, but who knows? Let's see how this turns out. We're, we're going to pull a Qatar and just pay our way into the playoffs. Except they didn't go to the playoffs. They lost the very first game they had and then never won one ever since. I can't wait for Ryko to join on, like, another account that's just, like, three letters. And then just, like... Say like one thing they can band again. Post their stupid on their, abyss through one of like a thousand alts. Made an abyss, Pink Floyd or whatever. Remember when Ryko used to actually be likable around here? You no. Play Geometry Dash. I don't remember when they were likable. I've always hated them. They were at least tolerable. Now sort it's just of, yeah. they can't speak coherent sentences. <laughs> They're like succumbing to Alzheimer's. The only person that's carrying the Naples Nanachis team is Derek Knight. And that's only because he used to be on Dutch's team. And the reason he's on the Nanachis is because Dutch wanted one of their players. And then look what happened. Not even he's going to playoffs. Literally gave up a good quarterback to the worst possible outcome. I don't like... How many... How many... How many emails does Reco have, like, actually? 
Don't ask me. What I have ass. at least like nine accounts blocked on the on my account, and they're all Ryko. Awesome. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, Derek Knight's about to score a touchdown, and he did. So awesome. I wonder where their coach is right now. I bet they're celebrating with them. Probably want to execute them. And in some, in some parallel, we really have entered a parallel universe where the Wolves are losing and the Nanachis are winning. This is a strange timeline we're in. What the heck? What the fuck? What? The New Day are challenging for the NXT Tag Team titles? What the fuck? What? This is literally the weirdest thing I have ever seen. Weren't they like challenging for the regular tag team titles like a couple weeks ago? Yes. Golden Ratio? What? Tom Brady is 3 and 1 since his divorce. That is so awesome. That's Unfortunately, crazy. Unfortunately, maybe if he played for the Wolves, we would be a little bit better. Go for the kick. Get the goal. Yeah.
Thank you. Very cool. I I I agree. at 35 left. Thank God the Austin Hackers are actually beating the, the Ryko team. Thank God. I don't want to jinx it though. And I jinxed it. Kevin, wait, Keith Wolford? What? That, 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 that's a Wolves reference. Oh, no way. <laughs> okay. You know what, Keith Wolford? You will be expecting a very special delivery in your mail tonight. Uh oh. Make sure you open it precisely at 12.57 a.m. And make sure there are no women or children around. And make sure you have all your valuables stored. And you let them know where your inheritance money is. Oh shit, there goes. Johnson. His name is literally named after a toilet, which means that uh -huh. he is complete shit on the field. Should join the uh, one of the teams that are. Join the Washington Aspects. Here we go. Great play though by. Why there's Sean like why is there Johnson. like more than one team that's related to like toilet? What, what other one are you talking? There's the ass wipes and then there's a uh, Reigns team, which I'm not even gonna say. Loaded by that's not a toilet reference though. That's a band reference. Those are two different things. Here we go. Can they make the kick? They made the kick. This is so awesome. This is so good. Oh, huh. G Willikers. Can the Nanachis make a huge, huge, huge comeback in 41 no. seconds? <laughs> no, that's all you needed to hear. What a play. What a move. 40, 37. Oh my god, this clock goes fast. 33 seconds left. Otis Taylor. Can he do it? go. Derek Knight passes to Otis Taylor. 24 yards and the Nachis call a timeout. They're really trying to hurry it up here. This is the only, this is the last, the first and the last last season game they will have. Because after when we get to the next season, the Nachis will not be on the team anymore. Thank God. There'll be a Another team called the Bikini Bottom Barnacles. They'll just be the Bikini Bottom the, Barnacles, too. The, the Krusty Crabbers. Oh my god, he got absolutely destroyed. Third in inches, seven seconds left. Can the Nanachis get a touchdown to at least no. tie this game? Let's find out. Let's see if Mobzilla jinxes it and he's bad luck. We go Derek Knight. Oh! It doesn't matter because they lost. Let's go. Austin Hackers win tonight. This Let's is go. so awesome. 20 to 13. Big win for them. Well, we got to check real quick who's heading to the playoffs. We got our playoff game, folks. We got Femboys. Uh, I forgot to play the, the funny music, even though Mob can't hear it. 
Femboys play against the, the Wakatakas next week. And then the Latvia e or the St. John Saints play the Danish Lego men. Latvia Eagles play Thunder Bay Economists. And then Detroit Darkies play the Netherlands Stone to Stofos. One of these eight teams will be playing at the Super Bowl. Or win the Super Bowl. I sure hope it's not the St. John Saints. I will take anybody but the St. John Bro, Curry's Saints. team is up there too. <laughs> Eagles and Astolfo's game in the semifinals, probably. You never know. Only one way to find out, though. And that's watching next week for more awesome Tuesday night football. It, it's been me. It's Spew. Or in this case, uh, Brock and SpongeBob profile picture. Good night, chat.